Hello, Coach Hayden here, and we've got another strength and conditioning workout. It's called Never Too Cold, and it's going to be brilliant. So, as as a uh, as tradition now, the joke at the start. So, uh, why should you never draw with a broken pencil? Because it's totally pointless. Hurrah! Awesome. Okay, let's go for the pistol squat. So, the first thing we're doing strength pistol squat, and it'll be four sets, eight to twelve reps every two and a half minutes on both sides. So you're gonna do your left and right leg four times within two and a half minutes. So it's gonna be a challenge, but there's no added weight. It's just like no, no dumbbells or plates holding. So pistol squat is from one leg, you're gonna reach forward. You can hold onto your foot, come all the way down and then up. You see how my heel didn't rise there? It is pretty challenging. So, uh, I mean, I don't think I could do eight to 12 reps all the way through. So a variation you can do is change it onto, uh, you can go onto a chair, a sofa, anything. Uh, depends on the height. If it's too high, it's pointless. If it's too low, it's gonna be really tough. So you've got different variations. You can just do on your one leg all the way, tap and up. So you're not going so low, it's easier. Or you can go for sit down and stand up. Uh, you can also go on the way down and then stand up with both legs. As long as you're even on each side and you're challenging yourself, it's gonna be absolutely fine. So the other variation could be you, you're just gonna sit down, stand up with one leg, sit down, stand up with one leg. As long as you brace your core, You've got good mobility in your ankle to be able to bring your knee forward. So it's not, I'm not keeping my shin vertical. I am actually, when I go down, I have to get quite a lot of mobility. You can see my heel is coming up a little bit on my right. So it should be lower down there, but then obviously it's pretty tough. So I've got more mobility in my left ankle. So when I come on down here, I see my heel is flat and I come up like so. So you need to make sure you've got good ankle mobility, you're using the tripod technique, so three points of contact, brace the core, and you control it up and down. So that's the strength. It's gonna to be tough, but good fun. And then the conditioning, the never too cold workout, it's five rounds, full time, and a 20 minute time cap. So you're gonna do these four exercises five times, and you're gonna do it as quick as possible, and then we record your time. If you can't complete, complete it, as soon as the 20 minutes is done, you stop where you're at and we record how many reps you got into. But we should all be good. We've got alternate, um, uh, alternatives you can do to make it easier or harder, and potentially we could even do four rounds at a time if you need it. But the first exercise is gonna be the dumbbell RDL deadlift or kettlebell deadlift. Depends on what objects you've got at home or equipment you've got. So the deadlift will be uh, RDL, if you've got dumbbells, really working hard on stretching those hamstrings. Soft bend in the knees, keeping the contact in your feet. Brace your core and hip hinge down, getting the stretch in the hamstrings and then coming back up. Doesn't matter that I don't touch the ground. I keep my shoulders back, I squeeze the oranges. I'm not gonna come on down and lose my shoulder just to touch the ground. As soon as you do that, you're potentially gonna hurt your back. So control it in that way. Uh, or you've got a kettlebell, uh, maybe a little bit heavier than this potentially, and you can do deadlifts there. Yet again, keep your shoulders back. When it's a kettlebell, you've got a closer grip, potentially more chance of your shoulders rolling in. Make sure you prone your chest out and then you can deadlift down and up. A little tip here, try not to let the kettlebell come out too far. Keep it in close to you and hip hinge, then deadlift at the bottom. Just like so. And you'll be doing 10 of these. Once you've done your 10, you're going to do your second one is handstand practice. Uh, no, handstand push ups, which I totally agree, they're going to be really tough, but there's an alter, uh, alteration, why did I say that? Um, alternative. Uh, if you want to do, and that's 10 dumbbell strict press. So handstand practice literally can be anything to being on the wall with your feet up or even a box or a sofa, and you can go with your knees on and you're here, and then you can do your press ups like so, or you can have your feet on, making the elevation a bit harder, and you're going from there. 
it's pretty challenging, but you can do your best. Uh, definitely changes higher the box and stuff, but you see how you go, or on the wall if you've got wall space. Uh, or you can go for dumbbell strip press. So you get your dumbbells, clean them up, and then you're gonna strip, so you're locking out your legs, not doing the dip and press. Just drive overhead, just going for 10 of these. Oh, pretty tough with 15s. <laughs> okay, so third exercise will be the cardio bit. So you're either gonna go for 10 calories if you do have the machine available, 22 double unders, 66 single unders, so just normal skipping, or jumping jacks for 45 seconds. And a jumping jack, you can either do the variation of the star jump or jumping jack, so you can go in and like so, or the, uh, the other one being all the way, <laughs> like so. <laughs> uh, 45 seconds worth, so guaranteed to be pretty challenging, but you'll be all right. And then the last one is pull-ups. If you do have a variation, I mean, you can even do ring rows if you have the equipment, but um, I don't believe many people will have ring rows at all. So pull-ups, if you can, they'll be strict, jumping, whatever, falling pull-ups. Uh, but if you don't have them, renegade rows is what we're gonna do, plus press. So you've got your dumbbells. You're gonna go into that plank position. You're gonna be here. Uh, say plus press, you don't actually have to. It depends on what difficulty you want. So you can just do your renegade row. Renegade row. You're driving up like so. And you're gonna do 10. So five on each arm or 10 together. Depends on what challenge you want. Or you can do the press version where you come on up, press on each one, trying to control it as best as you can. Make sure your feet don't pop right up. When you're doing one side, you'll feel like all the weight goes onto one side. Keep your core really strong so your feet doesn't pop up and you lose all four points of contact. So that is the workout. You're gonna do that five times around as quick as you can do the best you got, uh, it's gonna be really good fun. So hope you enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, it's gonna smash it. So thank you so much, see you later, bye bye.